Theater Theater is the folks. Snazzer, we shall lick it. Before we get started, I just want to drop an extra warning. While it's clear this is a pest control video by the thumbnail and title, it's not an ordinary one. Uh, the clarity of scope cam footage you're about to see leaves nothing to the imagination. I have never, and I mean never, filmed footage like this. Uh, it's like Nat Geo crew filmed a video in my backyard. So one last time, you're about to see a 44 grain 762 millimeter pellets hit their targets in extreme slow motion in unbelievable clarity. Today's video is sponsored by you all through the merch sales and awesome Patreon supporters. As a thank you for the month of December, uh, use the promo code EDGUN to get 10% off all hats and clothing. Uh, the store is fully restocked in all sizes as well. So I'll drop a link in the description if you're interested. And thanks again, guys, for the support. This is my view from my office, and this time of year, the squirrels are essentially in full rut. Their fear levels are zero. They care about food, shelter, and defending their winter turf. Uh, they say an upside down horseshoe brings good luck. If you hold them right, however, they make a great set of irons. So let's dive right in and see who's got luck on their side today. Uh, at this point, it's safe to say I'm in a full on backyard pest control war. So I've got cameras everywhere. Uh, and a central hub alerting me to activity right here on my desk. It's a simple glance over for target confirmation and then a quick walk down uh, to my sniper's hide where I typically have a leshy 2 ready to go, especially on game days. The clarity of scope cam footage in this video is absolutely incredible. Uh, watch this pass through as the 30 cal pellet goes through the skull and deflects off the tree. This is exactly why I've built the table for one over the years. It allows me to bring them to a safe place in the yard for a humane dispatch. And nothing is more humane than this shot. It's no secret squirrels gravitate to big oak trees. With hundreds of them around my house and the lack of urban predators, it doesn't take a rocket scientist to figure out and understand the population issues. So I shoot one biting a hole into my house and there's three more right behind it. This new scope for March arrived just as I was wrapping up the Catching Porch Pirates video. So if you haven't seen that one yet, I'll throw a link in the description for you to go check it out after you finish watching this one, of course. March Optics sent me what might be my favorite scope of all time, the FX 4.5 by 28 High Master. So there's ED glass, guys, and then there is March Optics ED glass. It's like looking in 4K. So Dion Optical Design is a small Japanese company whom, in my opinion, make the greatest scopes of all time under the brand name March Optics. Uh, they better be for the price. These boys aren't cheap. But just like the Leshy 2, they come with a big old side of zero regrets, in my opinion. Uh, each scope is handmade with all the highest quality Japanese parts, so I could wax poetic uh, about them over a boring tabletop review, or I could grease some squirrels and just show you. So to do that, I'll be using the Eagle Vision GoPro mount. Uh, this scope has a wide angle eyepiece, so in order to film with it, uh, I actually have to use Eagle Vision's new sidebar mount option for the GoPro instead of the universal one that I'm typically using. So I'll throw links in the description if you wanna check that out. Um, a unique thing about March though, uh, specifically what their engineers have been able to pull off in regards to parallax. So 10 yards, uh, or is it 10 meters, whatever, uh, 10 yards in this particular case, but it's not at the expense of field of view at the longer ranges. So any of the tier one companies can do 10 yard parallax. That's not rocket science, but they don't as it impacts field of view at the 600, 700, 800 yards. And that's why they typically set uh, high end scopes, tier one scopes uh, at at least 50, um, like 50 yards, 50 meter parallax. So March was actually able to accomplish both. So this gives it a wide range of applications from three gun kind of AR-15 close range uh, with something like the March Shorty 
uh, all the way out to long range stuff. So why spend $3,500 on a scope like this? It's not just about the quality. It's the features making this an optic that you can use throughout a wide discipline of shooting. So for me, uh, they're the cherry on top of the greatest pound for pound air gun rig of all time. So I can stuff this Leshy 2 in a backpack, take anything from a rat to a hog, and then catch a critter out. For me personally, I've taken them out to about 150 yards with the help of an optic like the FX 45 by 28 So let's get into it. I get a lot of comments and questions about why I shoot a 30 cal in my backyard. Uh, there's a few reasons, really, uh, in no particular order. Uh, fundamentally, I subscribe to the slow and heavy approach, meaning I shoot a heavy projectile at slower speeds to achieve the energy I need. Uh, this isn't for everyone, uh, especially if you're shooting longer ranges. But for most of us, let's say 50 yards and in in your backyard, uh, it's perfect. Uh, the benefits are really noise level uh, in controlling the pass through. So the Leshy 2 Reaper makes adjusting that for backyard slow and heavy to the longer ranges like where I go to a farm super easy. It's just a simple little turn of an external reg and you're off and running. What's cool about the footage like this is I can visually show just how much power you're still able to achieve. The goal is about dumping as much energy into the critter as possible. Not how fast you can send a projectile through the air, how flat the trajectory is, because ultimately it's just gonna zip right through them and into the ground behind it. Uh, it's really just simple math at the end of the day. And applying your own context, this is the real key part, apply your own context when making a decision around your own setup. So you might see someone on YouTube shooting a monkey at 200 yards. Clearly, there's a need to run that slug as fast as possible to be accurate and with enough power downrange needed to achieve a clean kill. If I took that same setup into my backyard, all I'd be doing is just zipping them right through uh, and I'd be retrieving most of those squirrels in my neighbor's yard. I normally edit this part out, but it comes at the expense of people thinking that the pellet is just bouncing off of them. So I'll turn it black and white so the YouTube police don't freak out. Um, I'm filming at 240 frames per second most of the time. So most of these shots, you, you're really only seeing about three to four seconds of real time footage. Uh, with a pellet, there's always a bit of a delay uh, before, let's call it uh, proof of penetration starts to happen. So you'll see that here. I don't want to harp on this too much, uh, but I do want to show you something that happened to me just the other night. So I took this 25 cal setup to the farm for some longer range uh, shooting. So it's shooting 32 grain AVS slugs at around 900 feet per second. This is enough to take a coyote 80 yards easily, no problem. Watch what happens though with this skunk at 25 yards, let's call it. I zip half a mag through this thing and it literally is just feeding, has no idea. All that wasted energy led to this skunk being able to run about 30 yards or so as it was zigzagging right uh, into its new den under my deck. It died two seconds later because I smelled it uh, after making it under there. So I typically anchor skunks with a 22, uh, shooting literally a third of the power of this setup. So let me be really clear though. I'm not making a case for shooting things super slow. All I'm saying is make your setup relevant to your specific needs and here is a visual example of what can happen if you don't i'm in full panic mode right here uh as i'm standing up and trying to find a clean lane to drop it i missed twice as it's running right at me and it dove under the deck and died much to the delight of my wife by the way more on that another day so let's get back to the squirrels and some of this insane footage This is the time of year where squirrels, in my head at least, are throwing on some serious holiday pounds. Look at the size of this guy. You 
you can see the exit here just in its lower back. Uh, I could slow this down a little bit more if it was a dedicated squirrel rig, but I like having my 30 short this one set up for anything in my yard. Here's one last one where the pellet didn't pass through. Uh, it hit dead center and then traveled straight down its body, basically compressing everything along the way. Thanks for watching the Ed Gun Leshy channel. Want more backyard hunting videos? Grab your favorite beverage and get yourself caught up. There's hundreds just like the one you just watched. Here's a couple favorites to get you started.